the winner of this next match will get the seat in the immunity pool in Columbus in November. So when we get this set up, then uh, we can show our slide on that bad boy. The next two winners of our two semifinal matches, you'll see those two red boxes in Lone Star Regional, they will be filled in. If PAC does repeat, we'll leave that blank until the end of the season, and we'll figure out who will uh, be a suitable replacement. But a lot at stake here in Waco, Texas. All right, this will be a war. Let's count them down in three, two, one, pills. John Dett Flindo had a hell of a uh, quarterfinals versus Dave Smith says. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he's still got some energy after that grueling match. And uh, Pac had to put up a fight against uh, Ramsey there. Mm -hmm. That was not a given that people thought it would have been. And John Dad Flynn was in trouble early. Not gets the tree knocked down in time. Well, Pac dashes that uh, red blue over to the right. Gets his combo. And John does too. Early on with the, in the speed level 30s, that's still possible. Oh, John dropping garbage right where uh, Packy wants to play his next pill. Uh, Packy's when it says it's combo potential, so let's uh, make him <laughs> prove his little dictionary change there. Close match early on. Oh, oh, this could be trouble for Pac. He's going to have to find a way to round his tree in the middle. So he he, he was going to have... Oh, and that's oh, no. going to do it. Unless there's a combo here. That's it. John with the quick win. <laughs> Historically, Pac is so aggressive, he leaves those open just long enough. And if you're skilled enough to get that garbage drop... That's the way he's historically lost in these t uh, matches. I'm not sure if that trick will work twice in a row, though. I, I go back to 2019 when uh, Pac lost to uh, which which uh, G brother was it? Was it Andy G or Mike, Michael G? Michael G. I, I forget. <laughs> They're the same to me. But uh, that's how that uh, match ended up. Oh. Michael G had two. Uh, Quick top outs on pack. Sweet tea right here. Yep. The Savage Special. Both players with a little bit of garbage on their boards, but fairly manageable. John gets a sweet tea into a drop uh, triple. Yeah, pack's a little playing a little faster this time. You can see his drops are a little snappier, mm -hmm. and you can see he's got the ten virus lead early on. And now um, John Dad Flindo is no viruses are exposed, so it's going to be all combo play to get to a place where he can be scoring again. Mm -hmm. He's like, nice. <laughs> he appreciates the pain. The Dr. Mario Masochist. It's fun to watch from my vantage point when you're, but you're playing against a player that can just drop like that. It's it's frustrating beyond anything. Oh yeah. And to be a good sport and take and really appreciate it. That's uh that's special. I had a little bit of that with DM Hero. A couple times I was like, stop, stop dropping everything. I yep. want to play. But it is you know the sign of a very good player. Um, oh. oh, yeah. As Peg said, John comboed himself. It's tightness up. It's 24-29, and I kind of like John's board a little bit better. Yeah, he is kind of stacked on the right side of his board, um, whereas Pack is a little bit more um, even throughout. Oh, oh wow. nice big combo from Packy there. And John's um, getting into the... Uh, into the Miley Cyrus. Yeah. That was me with the uh, previous song, so... I, I completely get that, John. Oh, Packy with the bad karaoke. <laughs> Whatever helps. 17-18, close game I here mean, in game I, two. I, I did a, uh, a 
a Dr. Mario karaoke on my stream once. It's party in the JDF. That's what Savage said. You gotta, you gotta oh, shout God out the nice. Burns that. I... Oh wow! Oh man! Packy. But now, now the column eight on pack. I don't know. Now he's gonna bring all that down, and there's nothing in his column eight anyway, so that can be a I... trash column if he absolutely needs it. To. John needs a double blue. He can still dash that to column seven, but you don't want to put anything else there. No. And the RNG in the NES version. Oh, and that's cut off now. Now it's going to be working from underneath. 13 to 9, Pax in the lead. And he's going to knock out three viruses with this. And then I got a uh, horizontal open at the bottom. But he's going to go for the D sandwich version. 7 to 6 right now. Yeah, wow. This, well, this guy cleared up. 4 to 5. A red yellow for John is going to knock him down to one. If he could slide that in there, he does, but that's a little precarious. He's down to his last virus. Pack needs to get creative or combo. Five to one. And a blue pill will do it, but John's not getting the blue pill. There it is. Gets it, and that's two nothing, John Flindo. Oh, we have some uh, fun facts in the chat. Apparently, John Datflindo is a trained opera singer. Oh, man, he took the hat off. That's how serious this is getting. Uh -oh. Let's sell us like adults. Game three. The power of Miley is compelling John. But now the song's over, so we'll see what hit parade comes next. And off to a look how quick John is dropping his red that red burst. Exactly, Packy was able to um, to make a couple of combos out of that though. And now Pack Pack gets the red burst, but he. Because he was moving it laterally, he did it a little bit slower, whereas John was just dropping him straight down without waiting. That's a good strategy when you get that, and you knowing that those several of those are coming in a row. That's Pack. Yeah. Oh, John was some... Uh... Some, uh, John's kicked, it, John's kicked into another gear in this game three. He only has a one virus advantage on Packy, but his board is looking a lot better. Packy's column one is basically entirely cut off. No. Tightening back up now. It doesn't take long for the board states to change. That's very true. Ooh. That was on purpose. He didn't like it, but that was on purpose. Set up an L. Nope. Just going to do a uh, little nice triple, triple here. There. So Good columns job. one and eight are problematic for John. Column one is a super problem for Pac. He'll work from the bottom, though. And now this has become 20. Look at how quickly the momentum changed. Mm -hmm. I thought John had this match in the bag. And now Packy is mostly clear. So now it's going to be if we're going to get a stun lock situation, which two in a row did show up, but he couldn't extend it. What a quick semifinal so far. Mm-hmm. And now we get that entire four second drop time working from the bottom of the screen, both players. Packy's working on some more combos. And John's working on a combo down to six to seven now. And that red piece on top of Packy's blue virus. 
He had it open and got rid of it. But now he's got it uh, open horizontally. Now he's going to go, hor yep. Oh, he and he's covering combo. it. Yeah. He's, he's going to combo. Can John combo his way out of this? That's going to do it. Pack's going to get that one. All right. There's a crown for Pack. Now we're up to two to one. Game four. Away they go. They no no rest for these two. Pack most famously got that reverse sweep in the finals back in November against Dimwit. Can he do that feat again in the semifinals? Oh, there's a nice uh, drop triple from Packy. All right. Two clean boards past the first level. You that, love to see clean boards. Yeah, it's rare. Normally one player has an advantage getting past that first wave. The virus mix at the bottom, there's not a lot of double viruses, so it's going to take a lot more work to get down there. And now Savage has sent Dave's Pizza over to JDF. Oh. Man. How do, you, how do you feel about that, Dave? Domino's, apparently. I mean, we're not sponsored, so. We know what toppings. Here's a fun combo from Pac. A into a quad. The Rube Goldberg and machine it, it, is on on pack side. Himself, unfortunately. Well, 27 29. I like John's board slightly more. But mm -hmm. pack is creative and we again, can. Again, John has um, where the right side of his board has the most viruses, and then the left side is pretty empty. So that could be um, somewhere he could drop some trash. In a, yeah, in a speed run, that's terrible because the drop time getting into that empty area takes a lot longer. But in a versus situation, having a garbage pile to not only get rid of pieces you don't need, but to make combos out of those pieces you don't need mm -hmm. is advantageous. Oh, um, and that garbage took out something that John wanted. He's able to John, clear out almost all of it. The, the, yeah, the, the, the advantage is growing at 1629 now. Pack is going to have to turn it on. Now he's going to. There it goes. Nope, there's the head scratch. Yep. Down to 13. There's a nice, huge combo for John, John Flindo. Down to 11. Packy now getting a little trouble with that. Blue at the top. He is going to take that down, but he's not clearing viruses. He's only comboing garbage. The worst place for John to get. Uh, there it goes. John's only working with uh, rows one through three on his board. Yeah, and there's look, a lot. There's a, almost the, a straight line of garbage on top. There's a, yeah, and look at that. I mean, it's taking the entire three to four seconds. Mm -hmm. That's going to take 3.75 seconds for that piece to get down there. That gives Packy so many more moves in that wait time. Mm -hmm. And look, six to 11 now. Now it's six to nine. Hey, now. Hey Shout now. out to Kingsman. Hey now. And Pax only working with the left side. Oh, that's some nice garbage there. Pax clear. He was until that blue piece, but now look at this. Six to seven or five seven now. We're gonna have another heck of a finish here. Pack passing up the drill down because he knows it takes a long time on the left hand I'm side. To tuck it, it did go. 
Oh, he could, he, he could clear this out with... And John Dat Flindo moves to the finals, earns a spot in the immunity bracket, knocks out the three-time champ. I was one red away and I was so close, I saw it. GG's. Wow. Amazing. This is going to be a freaking war. Okay. I can't wait for this one. Our first look at... Our other semifinalists, Floyd and DM Hero. Looks good. We are we are right into our next semifinals. Alt oh, Control says it was sufficiently on the mic. Well, that perfect. Oh. <laughs> All right, we guys, everybody ready? Yep. In three. Two, one, pills. We got a lot of crowd, of, so maybe we uh, do our finals. We get everybody here. We'll, we'll we'll time it out. We'll take a break or something because we're running, we're in pretty good time. It's only not even four yet. Yeah. So away we go. We are definitely having two new players added to our immunity pool in November. Which is fun. And, and both of these players actually, for versus play, a very similar style where they drop combos Super on you as aggressive. fast as possible. Yes, they are very, very aggressive. And oh, you, DM you here see, did you not see the like DM that. hero head shake, but look, he's going to get out That's of that with a nice triple. Combo. So Floyd has the early advantage, but if DM hero can get out of this wave, this top wave, watch out. This has been amazing. Like, DM Hero, that's, his, that's literally what he is, surviving this really slim area to maneuver in. Oh, no, that red trash is exactly where he did not. Oh, the yellow, the oh, yellow is the no. coup de gras right there. And he's going to top out, and Floyd's going to take game one. But look, Floyd wow. just continuing his dominance here. In the game two right away. Look at this, almost simultaneously. Same, Look at the same, same cadence. Brain. But Floyd had the, the frame difference. You saw the garbage dropping first on DM Hero's board. Mm -hmm. So good. And the garbage helping DM Hero get out of that jam. Let's see what this garbage is going to do to Floyd's board. Not going to harm it too much. This gives... DM here the advantage, the uh, opportunity to take the lead. So shouldn't be a quick top out on either side. That's kind of what we want here. We don't want the quick top outs if possible. Oh no, DM oh, come here did on. not like come on. that. Get out of this. Oh! oh no. His entire right side of his board is cut off. Floyd could smell the blood in the water. Are you calling him a shark? Yeah. Even though Sharky's here over there. Or... <laughs> Nice a combo. Great, wow. Great quad combo to get out of that from DM Hero. That and with great. that takes the lead and the better board state with one move. It's really nice to, to watch DM Hero do this and not be on the side where I have to suffer through him doing that too much. Yeah, it's 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 a lot <laughs> easier to watch on this side of the screen. Yes. Oh he didn't like that move. He didn't there. like that, but he's he got the better board. Upside down. Keep keep pressing, and you can see he's playing a little snappier than he normally does. He knows he has to keep Floyd down when he can. Mm -hmm. I know they were practicing last night. He and Floyd and Dave Smith were all practicing last night. I don't know how those went, uh, who took which games, but I know that they did practice against each other. So that's always nice when you can have some high-level Right. Uh, people to practice against. That's always really nice. I don't have that. My friends don't let me play Dr. Mario against them. <laughs> Not anymore. And I 
sweet tea there from the DM hero. Still has a slight lead. Both board states are about equal. Maybe Floyd slightly better, but both players can combo out of this. All right, <laughs> we have pressing matters to go in the sports world, but I'm back. I like DM Heroes board. Yes, uh, good, good call. The agonizing wait for these drop piece drops. Now it's 13 to 14. And you can see how quickly these board states are changing. Mm -hmm. I think I like Floyd's board better now. And DM Hero trying to still make the combos. He knows he that's his key to victory, is to keep Floyd from doing anything while waiting for the pieces to drop. 13 to 13. And Floyd shifted around in his seat. He, he wants something to do. And here's another, here's another triple. Floyd has taken the slight lead, 12 to nine. DM here were able to get the piece over to the far right, still even at 45 speed. Floyd needing a double blue to take care of that guy on the right. He's gonna oh, get, he's next. DM here did not get that tuck. And now there's some blue garbage on top of that red he's trying to get rid of. It's still anybody's game right now. I think I like DM here's board better now. It just keeps going oh, back and nice, forth. There's a nice L from Floyd over there. Into a drop T. Very nice. Oh, and he missed oh, it. No. It was too fast for Floyd. He's going to have to work from underneath now, but he, he also has combo potential to slow DM Hero down. 11-7. Floyd with the lead. Oh, man. Oh, got a sucky darn over here. These last four are going to be difficult for Floyd. And DM Hero has not moved a muscle. Oh. <laughs> He's alive. See, whenever you say that, I, whoever it is, I'm trying deliberately to, moves. Yes, yes. <laughs> look at look at Floyd's board out of nowhere. Like mm -hmm. how much that just metastasized. It just and that piece of garbage. Like that could have been his one saving hope was getting a, a yellow piece of garbage in column one, and it just didn't happen. So now it's combo or die for Floyd. DM here is going to set up a fat log on the left, it looks like. Decides to take the easy route. He did that to He does. You. He does. He, he went with two sticks rather than a fat log. And with his double right, he's going to make the fat log here. Much to the chagrin of our chat. And down to two viruses for DM Hero. And Floyd, he had the end game set up and just couldn't finish. But it's not over just yet. piece of garbage land. It's not over. Exactly on the stack. Not over and they're starting to get a little fast. And, and here it goes again. Floyd just being the hero right now. Man, he's going to need to DM here's going to need a red blue to drill down. 
And another combo from Floyd. Let's see where this one lands. Oh. Will not. Can. Very lucky. Is it? Ah, oh, he just gets it. Nice game, DM Hero. Tie this up in one to one. Game three right away. No rest for these two. Hug each other. <laughs> Maybe after this. Look how snappy Floyd is right now. He, he, yeah, exactly. He, he kinda, I was just thinking, wow, he's going fast. He, he's annoyed. He knows he has to be play perfectly. It's one thing to be that fast, but when you meet your equal... And you want to go that extra 10%, mm -hmm. it can make mistakes happen. So you just got to be careful. Yes. Oh, sweet tea from Floyd. Oof. Floyd playing with fire in its middle columns. Gets out of it. But column one and two, if you can get that blue red over there, that ooh. ooh. Let yeah, it linger too long and it's and gonna eight, fester. His seven and eight is right, play for underneath. But now column eight's just an issue. Just leave it and work on other parts of the board before they become problems. And this is going to give Diem Hero the chance. He's in a lead by six. No. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. That's going to oh. do it. Wow. DM Hero goes up two to one on the precipice. <laughs> He's Savage uh, correctly identifying the song that is playing in the background. <laughs> Twitch, please don't hate us. shaking their heads oh. oh Floyd Floyd's in trouble can he play play maybe horizontal with this I don't know what he's going to do at the top he's got to swim every single piece gets oh. out of danger slightly gets it down to safety but not a great board to work from he's going to have to play from behind now blue piece should help decides not to and it gets filled oh. in oh boy Oh, oh, Floyd, come on. So oh, back. and he gives oh. it up, and DM Hero advances to the finals. What a match. Oh, man. Think of our immunity bracket now. We got, we're going to have we're gonna have four people now. Four people. We're going to have DM Hero. Bracket. We're going to have Flindo. We're going to have Packy. We're going to have Swong. Like, that's the thing about these tournaments. Not, you don't get to see all the players playing against each other, even either in the bracket play or the uh, the qualifying stage. So this elimination, this immunity bracket, is going to be our chance for uh, us to see our top players face off against one another mm -hmm. for the top seeds of the tournament. So exactly. it's going to be a fun ride. All right, this is our finals. We've got DM Hero and John Dat Flindo. And we have a poll in chat asking who you got. We'll give them a couple minutes for them to put out their bets. But long road for both these players. Both players are Texas, right? Yeah. So so the, the Lone Star winner is going to keep the title in the state of Texas. That's pretty cool. Let's get them going in. Three, two, one. Pills! 
Diem Hero's last major live win was in Portland in 2019 when he took out all the top players. He took out Packy, he took out Heather. He was on a mission and it seemed like he was gonna go into the championship and take out everybody. But then 2020 happened and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we, we went online that year and uh, Snipe came in and sniped it literally. And we do hope to see Snipe at a live event this year coming down from Montreal. Yes, we do want to see some of our more international players come out. Oh, Diem here dashing all the way to nice. the left for column one. Yep, gets that board clean. A nice, gigantic, nice. cascading triple for uh, Diem Hero. He does not have really any yellow on his top line. Yeah, it's like a it's like a, all. it's like cake icing. It's just he needs to get that cleared off before he can start working again, which he does right there. Delicious blue icing. Mm. Oh, look at this Some nice triple. Leave your tongue yeah, all blue. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure about that. And I like the slight lean from John Det Flindo. It's like it's the head slightly to the side, leaning, sort of like his profile forward. pick. It's also to the side, just ever so, like we he's thinking. The cameras it's, it's, make him a peaky it's thinking, man, you know? And that slight thing that uh, DM Hero does with his lips, you know, that that's a thinking move, too. That's, that's a. Yeah, where he's like chewing on it. Probably does it his day job a lot, solving problems. Lindo does have the virus lead right now, uh, 25 to 31. He had that red burst. He might have been able to take out that column one issue, but decides to use it elsewhere on the board. Oh, very nice. Because he wants to do that instead. Time. And then the, the trash red piece to finish the problem off. He knew that was coming. John with H. Drop H. H in the chat. Oh, the H causes the combo, of course. Now John with a 10 virus lead. We'll see what DM Hero does with columns 7 and 8 here. Ooh, he missed drop there on column 2. It's 12 to 20. John Det Flindo's column... Eight is an issue. I don't think at speed 40 you can dash a, a yellow blue over there in time. We'll see how he handles this. DM Hero's board is full of triples that can turn into combos just like that. Exactly. And the drop time is starting to affect players too. But that, that combo is really good for John that cleared out that oh. trash. Oh, oh man, God the double! So lucky. Buy that lottery ticket, sir. But DM Hero has got this down to fifteen to nine, and you, you see what's working. You see what's cooking there. In that uh, gap in column three for DM Ooh, Hero, he can set yeah. up that blue horizontal and get just everything to rain down on the rest of the board. Exactly. The tricky part's getting something into that gap. Yeah. And John Dead Flindo only has four viruses now, so the, the opportunity might have been lost. Mm -hmm. There's a high fat log for uh, DM Hero. One piece to, to dig out of this. There's a triple from John. Oh, none He's of free that. and clear. Three red pieces will do it. He's down to that one. Down to two. Uh, up, up, that and that way, both directions. That's yeah, that blocks him off in both directions. So at least, and now that on top of it, this became interesting all of a sudden. Just the most opportune combo there. And if he gets if if DM Hero gets that blue piece in there, 
John changes his mind. It, he got it. Wow, I missed that. Nice job. John Dad Flindo, game one. And they start just as we're able to get the pip up and accurate. A nice sweet tea from John. This happened last game, though. Uh, Jim Hero lost game one to Floyd and then just turned it on. So we'll see if the, we get a repeat of that. He, he did a packy. Yep. Yeah, John's got a lot of trash on the on the very, very top of his board. DM here's got a little bit, but he can easily combo out of all of that. Let's see, John's gonna try to take that blue horizontally. It's into a nice combo. Oh, John didn't even know what was happening. He just said, oh, nice. When he says nice, you don't know if he made a good move or if the other's opponent he made said, a good oh, move. He said, oh, nice. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. He said, oh, nice for uh, for his own combo. It really did sound like it was a, oh, this is a... DM Hero either nice needs surprise. a combo or get out of that mess. He got out of it with the combo. Mm -hmm. and one piece of garbage could have ruined that game right then and there. Oh, he's got a nice trouble to get out of a lot of that. He's... He's burned almost all of that garbage away in just a couple of seconds. 40-40, Jose Canseco without the roids. This is a good one. Close, the middle portion of the board. Both players can maneuver. Both players are clean. Oh, thanks. Well, thanks thank for the you. hygiene thank update. You very much, John. Dim here needs a lot of blue on his right side. And John's got a lot of yellow and blue on his top uh, into a cross that clean nice, up a lot of his trash nice drop cross Dean here is starting to shake his head it's not frustration yet it still feels oh, under control a sweet tea into a another drop combo but he has five columns where everything is blue now of course you know he doesn't but yeah, there's, there's for, for a second, he had five columns in a row with only blue on the top. Yeah, every blue piece right now for... Oh, John maybe thought that was the wrong color. And the garbage helps John bail him out a bit Very there. Very nice garbage. I like DM Hero's board right now. He does not have any viruses in columns uh, one or two. Nice read, nice change of decision there from DM Hero. Yeah. Very nice. I think he improved his play. He saw one combo change it to a different combo. I think and, and John Dat Flindo with the peaky strats. Yeah, he's See gone full pack, full peaky. You can move his camera down, maybe. No. Okay. I like people. Somebody from behind. There we go. DM Hero, he's in cruise control now. You see how he's snapping every piece down. He's, mm -hmm. he's, everything's clear. He knows everything, but things going. Yeah, it is 8 to 16 right now for um, DM Hero's in control of this. And basically. His board is clean. It is extremely clean. Just the slightest amount of garbage that he's going to be able to clean up very, very quickly. DM Hero yeah, down to his last five and he's clean. Combo that out. 
see if he tries to take that red horizontally. Yeah, looks horse. like he's going to. And that's, keep the blue on top to go right. right. Yep. Love it. Oh, I'm getting a little fancy with it. Now he needs a double yellow. Maybe open the door slightly for John. John's going to have to combo his way out of this. There it is. One, two, three. Now three yellow pill halves. Nope. Red. He needs yellow, red. red. I don't know my colors. We work on shapes tomorrow. Hey, shout out to JB. His classic line. Hope to see him at one of our next regionals. I believe we'll be in Arizona for sure. And now that oh, little and umbrella. Oh, Nero has his umbrella set yep. up. So not even garbage will save him. Him being John Dad. And there we go. We are tied at one to one. And shout outs to Influx for those uh, umbrella strats that we saw a little over a year ago. Yep. I think they work. There's a, there is something there there. And they're off. They're off again. Same combo to start. And you could see DM Hero had the slight advantage with the speed on that combo. Mm -hmm. They were both snappy, but a matter of frame difference gave uh, DM Hero the advantage. And John with that nice, uh, that nice T. Look at this combo from That's DM Hero. Right it's DM beautiful. Hero. And into the second level goes DM Hero, looking to John secure. John playing with absolute fire. Drops everything down for another good combo. But definitely advantage DM here. The only problem is column one and one red pill will take care of that. And there it goes. There it goes. And danger for uh, John on the column one. Yeah, he's going to want... Um, he's he's got some skyscraper strats going here. He's, oh, there's not there's he has to not a lot of options here. Oh, oh can he, he get this? Can he get the tree chop down? Chop he it down with a yellow. Cut off right near the center of his. Back. Oh, and he couldn't oh. get it over. Championship point for DM Hero. Game four. DM Hero in full assassin mode. Nice triple from John, though. It looks like already John has a slight advantage. He oh, get out of the gate faster. To dash over all the way to the left. It's possible at this at, at 32 speed, but not for much longer. And if you make a mistake, it's game over. Got it. Oh. Nice. He didn't have too much longer to work with that. Mm-hmm. Now, DM Hero is in trouble. Johnette Flindo with the snappier uh, plays to get to that second level. Fat log. Yeah, he's got a 14 virus lead right now. And nearly zero garbage. play right now from, from DM Flindo. Hero nice save but he's still in a lot of trouble he's gonna play in some a blue to the left take some of that down can he get it can he wow there beautiful we go. great save but he's way behind he's gonna have to combo his way out of this and he's, he's not killing any viruses right now it's all just garbage clearing in a yellow burst right now. 20 to 49. Not the most helpful for him. Nice T. Nice. 
it's really hard to maintain that bleeding edge, snap every piece exactly for a 40 minute plus match of this. Exactly, yeah, it is, it is very tough. Over the course of an entire tournament as well, mm -hmm. you're gonna have your ebbs and flows mentally. And if that's the difference between winning and losing with these top ranked players, I don't think you can even practice for that. No, I don't think you can. Unless you have like somebody at home that you can do that with. Yeah. You can live competition. Yeah, it is. But look at this. Live competition. John Dad Flindo has a clean board down to eleven viruses. This is masterwork right here. Mm-hmm. And Diem here was playing this as well as you can in this situation. He's comboing the best he can. Yeah, his column one is, is at this point basically completely cut off from doing anything vertically. So we brought up before, but now, now the, any combos that Diem here drops are going to take a good three to four seconds to drop onto John's board. Exactly. So if he can get that streak going, if he can get that, that uh, stun lock going, he might be able to dig out of this because now looking at his board state, there's a lot of triples on the board now. Mm -hmm. So it's combo oh, city everywhere. Get... And here, oh, oh, yep. Watch, 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 fat log, log, baby. Let's go. And we're down to 20 to 7 just like that. And John's covered up. The pieces are starting to get a little yeah. fast. And look at the piece cycling. DM Heroes at level 45 speed versus 41. That's 40 more pills that he cycled through. Now, because he was at the top of the board, it wasn't necessarily that it was pressing down faster, but. Look at this. Into a. Into a drug. Yes. Wow. And look, we're all. It's 13 to 7. And there is not DM a single Hero exposed has... virus on John Deflindo's board now. Yeah, DM what Hero a turnaround. Has brought this back. This is amazing work by DM Hero. Even if he doesn't win this game, it's going to take uh, a, quite a lot out of John's swagger that he had early on in this uh, round. 11 to 7 now. Look at him. Look at him here. Like lean back. I got lean this. Lean back. He's like whatever. Whatever. Love it. And now he, John. Or now DM Hero's board starting to stack up. Mm -hmm. But he's setting up this combo in, in three and four. Yep. Watch. There's a one, two, three, just a three. But that's still. But John's board's cl pretty clear. Hmm. I don't know whose board do I want right now? Because he, he's down. John's down to three viruses. Down to two viruses. Gonna take that one out with a drop. And and, and DM Hero, yep, one down to one and oh, got wow. it. There we go. We got a decider. Oh, did you hear DM here? Let's give him a show. Exactly. Oh, the hat comes off again. No hat strats. Oh, three, two, one, Texas. We don't have, we don't have cider for the decider. We just have Dr. Pepper. They had hot Dr. Pepper there. I almost tried it, but you know, common sense oh, came John's. over me. Nice tea clear. Did <laughs> another tea clear. All the tea in Texas. All the, the Texas sweet tea. tea. We are in the south, so sweet tea. John playing very high up on his board. And when it, it, you have DM here on the ropes, and then he gets the garbage that helps him, it just. Yeah. It's a gut punch. Look at this 36 to 50. Now and DM here has got the Ooh. snappy play. You can just see. Into a horizontal. You, you, wow. you can see it's just the emotional bleeding edge. Snap, 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 play, 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 decision, decision, decision. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the difference between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., before and after your cup of coffee. He's like, shut up, Bidwell. He's shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
stop talking. Oh, John, John, John gets gets out of danger. Wow. Still in danger. Very much in danger. Oh, and he got, got him. Got him. And your Lone Star DRMC champion, Adam DM Hero.